Okay, so I'm just here at the shooting range, testing out the Cosmos. Um, now, before I start shooting, I'm just going to let you know that depending on where your laser is positioned on your gun, it's going to determine where the bullet lands. So even if you look through the scope, even though, you know, my reticle is right on target, that doesn't mean I'm going to hit it square. It's just kind of like a real gun, right? You're only sighted in at a certain range. Um, now, what I want to show you is... Okay, so I'm just going to, with one hand, I'm going to keep it steady on the X. just want you to watch the tracking. I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can. So I can pretty much, for the most part, I can stay right on the X. Okay, now, with two hands, I'm going to grab, and on the X. So, now, I'm getting a lot more jitter, right? So, you can always try to reposition yourself. So right now, I'm getting a lot more float. Now, some of that's going to be the game. And some of that is compounded because, you know, one controller's got a little bit of a tracking issue, the other one's got a little bit of a tracking issue, and then when you combine the two, it's the whole gun's just kind of wobbling away. Uh, which is why a lot of the game I'll play with SMGs, because they're one-handed. Um, and they're just as effective as the rifles, but it doesn't matter. Um, so right now, I'm going to try to put some headshots onto that target, just to see how stable I can get this. Headshot, 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 headshot. So, with one hand, it's not bad at all. It's when you put the two together, that's when you start having some issues. And quite often what I'll do is just, if I'm using a bigger gun, if I have something with a drum mag, right? Because, let's say I take this guy, throw on a drum mag, right? So I'll just kind of keep it kind of almost on my waistline and what that allows is the the cosmos I guess to see both controllers better and anyways there's a new update coming out real soon I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some of these issues corrected and a lot of the tracking issues would be your room and how it's laid out and how the lighting is in your room. Um, I had noticed that when I removed uh, the carpet in my room, there was a dark floor underneath and suddenly I was having tracking issues. So then I uh, uh, put down some white sheet onto the floor and suddenly all the tracking's back to normal. Um, I guess because I use this RGB cameras for tracking, but like I said overall, as long as you have your room set up right, and again, it might not be the lighting, it might be just the color of your walls, or the floor, or the, or the ceiling, that's the issue, not the lighting. So even though the Cosmos is telling you to brighten up your room, or to add features and all that other stuff, it's, it's probably, you know, I don't know, if you have brown paint or dark paint on your walls, that could be it.